Hey guys, Colbert here. Welcome back to another video. So today I was lucky enough to get Fellhound in one of these uh, souls. So I was slowly building him up because he's one of those champions where you're getting at the beginning of an account through a lucky void shard. You can actually use Fellhound to farm the campaign successfully, at least the brutal campaign, right? So I was wondering, can I beat the Nightmare campaign with Fellhound? Can I give him like the best gear possible? And then test it out and see because it's not an easy task to beat nightmare campaign so if we have a look at nightmare campaign right, right now guys if we go to stage 12 3 where you usually use felham you'll see that the enemies are level 245 and it's not the matter of their speeds but it's a matter of the amount of health and defense that these enemies have so on nightmare difficulty these enemies right here have 97 100,000 health somewhere there and about 4,000 to 5,000 defense it, it varies and of course the affinities varies as well but that's why Felhan is so good because he is a void champion the other important thing is that not no champion can do 100,000 crit on an aoe with his a1 skill at least not a rare champion so most champions that are, are built for nightmare campaign farming are built with very fast speeds like over 200 speeds so that they can go twice before the enemies go another big thing about this is also getting enough damage to do that and with hellhound being a rare you can do stuff like empowerment on him to give him some extra stats but because of awakening you can get there a little bit and that's where um, I'm going with this video. We're going to start it out with the Felhound being the five-star awakening that he has, which, as I said, I, I got it from the um, the awakening. But other than that, I, I haven't really pushed his masters, which is, what I'm being honest here, I don't want to give a 800 gems to Plyum just to make this video, even though I get some as a content creator. I'm trying to be free to play or at least not a, a big spender, um, at least for this part of the year, and we'll see. As time moves on and, and Prime gives in with more, you know, content for us, uh, I'll, I'll start, you know, spending a bit more. But for now, we're keeping it free to play, right? With no, with no masteries on him. With these, which I recommend using when you're building him anyway from for Brutal Campaign, which I'll drop back to for the last part of the video, just to show on how little gear you need to actually farm stage 12-3 for uh, the campaign to farm it on a, on a 6 to seven second speed so these are the masters you need crit rate crit damage and this one the heart of glory where you inflict five percent more damage when you are at 100 percent health and of course 75 defense why am i talking about defense for Felhound? because he's so unique he has a skill that attacks all enemies and also does damage based on defense and attack which is basically making his multiplier affected by both of these stats it makes it way harder for me to do anything because Although he's a defensive based champion, his defense is quite low. He's a rare. He has like 1,079 defense, which is very, very low. I wish this was a little bit higher, but I'm guessing because they didn't want to have it so high. Um, and then his attack is somewhere there. This, this makes things, you know, difficult when you're building him out. So I have him with 3.4 thousand attack, 4,200 defense. So if you put those together, he's at a... 7600 base stat for his multiplier 7600 that's quite a lot if you consider the speed and the crit damage that he has 296 with cruel set and lethal which is the better version of savage right so these two together make the best fell hand possible so will these be enough to actually farm the nightmare campaign well i'll, I'll show you what happens and we also have phantom touch which gives me 100 percent chance to inflict bonus damage based on my attack stat which is not going to be that great but there's no real other options for um you know the rare champions when you're giving him them awakening there's probably this one hero's soul but this is um increased damage inflicted to bosses and their minions so that is not that much 1.5 percent damage for each enemy not that much comparing it to i would say phantom touch and the potential damage out there if I could give him an epic blessing, I would have given him Crushing Rend because at the five stars, he would have gotten the damage on the first two hits, which is perfect for campaign farmers, right? I wish I have that on my um, on my ethos. I would make his damage, you know, go crazy. So these, these are the gear pieces that I have on him. I literally broke down 
my my seer my royal guard my man eater all of my champions that have gear i took a piece from them i have it saved on the other screen here hopefully i can rebuild them back after the video i'm not even on the test server so that kind of sucks because on test server i i move gear around without even caring about this one this is on the on the main server so i hope i remember um on what to do another big thing is that fellhound is not as smart as other champions because of his sk skills that he has he has an a2 and an a3 that don't do damage it's only his a1 that does damage and can actually farm the campaign so what i'll do here is i'll show you how this works on brutal on brutal he does the a1 immediately because he knows somehow the stats work that he knows he'll have enough damage boom look at that he does about forty-four thousand damage somehow he knows he has enough damage to go through and kill all the enemies but right now we're critting a lot we're critting right right now at 40 to forty-five thousand, which is like a real high number but the problem with that is that this is on brutal the defense numbers are much lower so let's go into nightmare and test to see if fellhound can really do anything on nightmare uh, campaign so I won't go on auto in there because he's going to use the A2 and A3 and that's going to be annoying. But let's see with just the A1 here and how much damage we're looking at. We're going to go twice. So let's see. That's 13,000 plus another 6.5 for Phantom Touch. That's really low. And you see where the problem becomes with, with Hellhound. Unfortunately, he cannot farm the Nightmare campaign. And then he does it again about 14,000. And Phantom Touch only hits on one enemy right there. So this becomes basically like an impossible task for a rare champion to farm the um, the nightmare campaign. I would I would say if he was using his actual skills, which usually those have much higher multipliers than a 1.8 and a 1.7, which he has right now in his A1. Um, usually multipliers would be at around a four to a five on AOE attacks. He would have have a, a much better chance on beating the nightmare campaign. So. That, is, that was my testing for today, but since I've got him built already with such insane gear, let's try him out a little bit on the spider. And what I want to do is I want to try and see until which stage can he kill all the spiderlings. I have a feeling that he'll be strong enough for 13. I wonder if he's strong enough for 13 to kill the spiderlings and keep killing them and also kill the spider. This is like a, a, a stupid task because you'll never do this. There's no reason to do this, but this is just for, for myself and just seeing some solid numbers for Felhound. So there's all the enemies here. So the A1, yeah, actually kills everything with every single attack that he does. He gets attacked a little bit by the big spider. He's going to lose a turn. He gets hit. He, got, he has to get a turn here. The sleep was what was annoying. So he'll be he'll be killing the small spiders, I think, with every time he uses skill. But I'm not going to put it on auto because he, he'll use the other skills, which are not required. I don't think he needs them. Just, just doing the A1 is enough. But the big spider will be trying to, to get health back every time, but won't be able to because he's, he's just killing all the spiders. I think he can even go higher with this amount of, like, look at that. 50,000, I think you can, you can try and see on a little higher than this. Um, yeah, let's just exit and see. So for stage 13, he was doing it perfectly. Let's say 16 is where you start not getting bruised. So that's a good stage to like consider. Um, yeah, let's, let's see. Let's see. 16. Does he have the damage to kill level 200 enemies? Mm, so half that. So I would say around stage 14 is where he would be facing a lot of trouble with the spiderlings. Even right now, I can kill them, but I would probably die from the boss. Yeah, and I've got a lot of poisons on me. Yeah, obviously, this is not the build, and he's dead from the poisons. So Felhan is, is quite fun if you build him, but you don't need all that gear. So for the next part of the video, I'll show you exactly how much gear you need to give him to be able to beat the campaign. You don't need the insane gear that I gave him right now with, with all of this. So I'll drop him down to the basics, the minimum stats required for you guys to see. The speed is very low that he needs. He doesn't need much speed. He needs about 200, um, 105 to 110 speed. So 110 is to just be safe. 
and then everything else goes into defensive stats and attack stats so i'll be right back okay guys we're back with pell hounds and these are kind of the minimum requirements needed to farm brutal 12 free to farming at the fastest speed possible with this guy so so he is not affected by the affinity since he's void that's why he's so good and this is the gear that i've given him with about 6300 of both of these stats together 6300 to 220 crit damage is enough and then all the other stats don't really matter except the speed which needs to be anything above 105 I mean, the minimum is, is somewhere there, 103, 105, 110 is or okay. Anything higher, you're wasting the potential of the other stats, okay? And this is why I removed some gear here, and I even went with critical raid gloves, all right? Just so that I can show you don't need the critical damage gloves for this one. Of course, of course, yeah, I do get some from the blessing, like 300 attack and 15% crit damage, but those can easily be received from other pieces of gear all right because i have like this helmet right here which doesn't give anything except for attack percent defense percent no glyphs on there and no banner which banners can actually give you upwards of 600 to your main stat okay so if it's an attack percent banner with an attack percent on the substat and a defense percent on the substat you can get 600 on the main stat i mean both of his main stats that he needs also, I went ahead and farmed a little bit of his masteries to get this one, Ruthless Ambush. I think that 8% is a lot to, to not get. So I spent about 200 energy to get the 160 extra um, green, how are these called? Greater, greater scrolls, green scrolls, whatever. These scrolls, 160 is what I needed to get this one, Ruthless Ambush. Remember, you also get 75 defense from this one, which is very good to have. So going into the brutal campaign this is how it's gonna look because you trigger basically the one shot mechanic you'll see all of them dying and by the way the awakening does not take um does not do any damage on the enemies you saw there it didn't do any damage you would see you would have seen a red icon there showing the damage from phantom touch which if you don't have it at 100 percent this would have broken the run and wouldn't have made it like a guaranteed run as it is right now. So this one, it's a guaranteed, look at that, 19.6 thousand. That is actually like the bare minimum. I think this guy there has about 19 point, well, it must be something close there because, uh, let me see, can I see it from the RSL helper? Yeah, 12.3, let me see exactly on how much health he has to tell you guys. He's got a cool 19.47. So I was a little bit above there. But the thing is, with any damage that you deal in raid, there's a chance for you to deal 90% of the damage that you usually do or 110% damage that you usually do. So you'll always see, you know, the numbers fluctuating up or down. You'll never see the same number over and over. It might be similar but it always be between that range of 90 to 110 percent so uh yeah this is felhan guys with the blessing you saw he cannot farm unfortunately the nightmare campaign he does solid numbers he's fun but i would say his his only reason um to be taken to 60 if you're gonna get him a campaign farmer i made a video way way back in the past where i showcased him as a champion for the fire knight you can use him for that one because of the reflect damage buff that he provides on a two turn cooldown two turn duration so have that in mind you don't need to have him at level 60 for that one overall a great champion but the stats required might be the ones limiting you from you know farming campaign at this speed would you need to farm campaign at this speed not really especially if you're free to play you have other areas to focus especially for your level 60s and i would say getting full masteries is also very difficult for the free to play especially in champion which is just going to be your farmer other than that, yeah, this was the video. Thanks a lot, guys, for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next one. See ya.